that said, no, don't get mad at me, Northern. I just that was a shout out for Northern Illinois because I loved it there. But that's my point. My point is, I mean, you got to have a logo first, and then of course at that point you're Georgia. You're, you you know if you're gonna get a kid, you got you got to compete against everybody in the country to get him, and that's where. He's a good closer. Kirby's a good closer. Is he more hands-on in recruiting than the most? He's very hands-on yeah. in recruiting and, and very demanding in recruiting. And, uh, you know, he's, if you've met him, he's a very people person, and that's what you got to have in recruiting. Very demanding in recruiting. Demanding on us. Yeah. How uh, so? Uh, uh, hands-on. Yeah. Very hands-on. Very aware of <clears throat> who we're recruiting, how many times we talk to them, have you text them, things of that nature. Very up on recruiting, spends more time with the recruiting aspect than any coach I've worked with. Yeah, so he's making sure you're texting this four star kid in Atlanta and this well, five star and, and in Charlotte, whatever and, it is. And he is too. He is, I mean, he is too. That's, uh, I mean, you're in it together with him. It's not like he's checking up on you. He's, you're in it together. All right, Alabama, as we know, always has an unreal front. What has you most concerned about this one that they present? Uh, probably the movement. I mean, they move more this year than what I've seen them in the past. Uh, they will have their guys. They always do, and they've got great ones again. Uh, but their linebackers are really good, too, you know, so – Probably the most concerning thing is they, honestly, they have a nice exotic package in third downs, whether they do it in odd or whether they do it in their split front. We have to control that, and we have to get leverage on their down line. And it's hard to because they, they, they're well coached, they have great hands, and they can post you and sit there and try to find a running back. We've got to run up their bodies, we have to move them. And if we do, we'll have success. If we don't, we won't. How much did the Auburn experience? I mean, this has been a growing unit all year. Yeah. I mean, going down there, kind of getting punched, and then how you guys responded. What did you kind of take away most from that? Uh, we got knocked out the first time. It wasn't a punch. Mm -hmm. It was a Muhammad Ali below. Um, but the next time we went in there, we, we gained some confidence from that. We knew we could do it, you know. We just uh, had some little things to clean up from it. And, and I'll tell you this, and certain Ben Cleveland has really helped us too. He's a big physical force in there. And he's, you know, he's one of those guys that, you know, he, he's a difference maker in there, I think. He's going to have to play well, I know. We're all going to have to, but I think he's a guy that, that we can use in there to you know, be a little bit of a battling ram in there a little bit, but I don't know what if I answer your question. Well, I wanted to ask one more thing. When you think about Kirby and you think about Jeremy Pruitt, they basically know every single player on that field yeah. with their pass. Is that a, a is that advantageous either? I mean, they both have the advantage. Can you can you look into into that too much and overthink that, or does it provide intel you don't normally get? I don't know. You know, if you look at Alabama, you know they have good players now. Does it matter if he's this great, great, or that great, great? Because they all. So I think I think more than anything, schematically, uh, he, you could get some help from Kirby on that. But we've also, you know, I've played them for I don't know eight or nine years too, and mm -hmm. their defense hasn't changed much. Again, with the third down blitzes, that's been a, Coach Pruitt has his own little wrinkles and different things that he does. But other than that, it's pretty much status quo. Things changed when Isaiah became a lot tighter. A bunch. But it wasn't just that. Isaiah changed. I mean, he came from a 285-pound, not real physical, not as strong as he needs to be player, to a 308, 307 player that's one of the strongest on the team. Uh, so his confidence grew. He, he's always been looked up to in our room. A, his position is left tackle. That's his, that's his position. What the pros do with him, I would play him at left tackle. But uh, that's his position. But B, once he got that confidence, then it has poured over our unit. Was it a chicken about trying to think that he get bigger and 